UFOs. In 2004, the US Navy encountered a flying object like never, like nothing they have ever seen before. It was super fast, its maneuverability was beyond their understanding, and it was nothing they have ever seen in their military life. And then in 2015, the Navy encountered a similar, if not the same, flying object again. This prompted an investigation as to what exactly was flying and what exactly they encountered. Now in August 19, 2020, just some few days ago, a Russian astronaut at the International Space Station was taking videos of the aurora that was flying at the north poles of the earth and guess what showed up flying objects showed up in his video just few days ago and the question now is what are these flying objects and and what did they reveal implies what what are, what is their presence here on earth implies to us as a human race there are so many people who believe that we should be concerned about these UFOs. And the question I want to ask you is, are we really supposed to be concerned? Or are we supposed to just learn from their presence here, if indeed they are what they are? And the question is, what are they? These are indeed heavenly beings. And these are indeed superior beings maybe beyond our understanding but one thing that we are very sure of is that they are superior beings now what does this imply to us as a christian and as a human race number one is on the concept of heaven you see when you talk about heaven so many people think of heaven as a spiritual reality but the truth of the matter is that heaven is a physical reality heaven is a physical reality that is so tangible to us just as the earth is tangible to us that we can touch and feel so is heaven heaven is a physical reality and this ties in with the concept of the heavenly or with the concept of bodily resurrection which god has showed to us in ezekiel chapter 37 verses 1 to 14 where God commanded Ezekiel to let the dry bones come back to life and Jesus Christ our Lord Jesus Christ demonstrated the same thing in John chapter 11 verses 38 to 44 where he called out Lazarus from the dead these UFOs make us understand that heaven is indeed a physical reality and if it is a physical reality, it is tangible. It's something you can touch, you can feel. It's not only like the conceptual, spiritual reality that we have always believed. Heaven is real and it's tangible to us. You see, that is why Christ resurrected with his physical body. That is why Christ says that for at the last day, you will rise up with your physical body. If whether you, be, you died in the sea or you died or you were buried on the earth, you will rise up with your physical body. The most surprising and, and beautiful thing about Ezekiel was that the bones knew themselves. They knew the particular parts that they belonged to and bones were jumping from one place to the other. It doesn't matter where your bones or your body has been displaced. They will all come back together and they will all rise up because heaven is physical and it's tangible and it's real number two implication is that there are machines in heaven yes you heard me right there are machines in heaven machines so complex and so sophisticated that human beings and a human understanding can never fathom it we can never understand and even imagine how complex the heavenly machines or vehicles are. You see, Ezekiel had a vivid description or revelation of the heavenly machines, some of the heavenly machines that accompanied the Holy Spirit. 
And in fact, the graphic that you are even seeing right now is cheap compared to what Ezekiel saw. And so heaven has machines and has vehicles. And so it shouldn't be a surprise to the world and to all of us to be seeing flying saucers all around us. 5,000 flying saucers or unidentified objects has been sighted in 2020 alone. There are so many more and so much more that has been sighted and recorded throughout ages. Heaven is real and they are sophisticated, complex, extremely complex machines and vehicles in heaven that we can never even think or imagine. Number three, and the final one or the final implication to the presence of this heavenly being is that they are all right here. They are here, right here on earth. They walk among us and we can't see them. And you might want to ask, how do I know this? Because the Bible says that do not forsake to entertain strangers. In so doing, some have encountered angels and heavenly beings. They come in the form of human beings, human beings we have never seen before, and human beings we might not even see again. And that is why the Bible encourages us that we should not forsake to welcome strangers because there are heavenly beings walking all around us. And they are heavenly beings. They are walking around us to save us, to help us, to deliver us from trouble, to deliver us from issues. And they are here because God specifically assigned them to be our guide, to help us. There are numerous testimonies about people being saved or people being delivered from accident that could have caused them their life. But they were saved and they were delivered. And there are also testimony that those people who were saved has never met those people who saved them or who delivered them from those accidents. These are evidence that we are not alone. We cannot be alone. And so it's, it's bothering that scientists cannot just accept this fact that we are not alone. And we are not alone because we have heavenly beings sent forth from God to be right here on earth to monitor us to save us, to guide us, to be our guardian angels, to be our guardian partners. But we are refusing and ignoring to acknowledge their presence. And that is why it becomes bordering to us and to everybody that is watching this video. I want you to understand that we are not alone and we cannot be alone. But Christ sent forth angels to save us, to be with us, to deliver us from troubles to guide us in our walk of life and so we are not alone god bless you so much and thank you for making time to watch this video and remember you are not alone your guardian angel is right there because god asked him to be with you to direct you in your walk of life in your walk on this planet earth until we finally reunite with our creator God richly bless you and stay blessed.